Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Hagazi and in this video we will present how to deal with uh, support lags data from 3D pressure cell design dialog box and from support and attachments tab we will activate the support lags here we will change the location of these lags from seam welding line here we will change it to this value and the start uh, orientation angle we will make it zero angle like that we will go to inside inside this support and from support lag data we will find that we have three types of support lag the first one without uh, a top plate the second one with top and bottom plate the third one with rings we will select the first type without top plate like that and the location will be deactivated because we, we uh, entered it from uh, 3D pressure vessel direct box and that one too from here we will activate or deactivate the wheel plate if we deselect that one the wheel plate will be deactivated if we select it the wheel plate will be activated and we can change the dimensions of the wheel plate according to this drawing dimension A is the height of this wheel plate we will change it and the width we will change it to 50 and from here we will change the thickness to that value and we will change the fillet to 50 millimeters now we will change the bottom plate dimensions the dimension D we will change it C and the thickness and the uh, offset this offset uh, from the uh, base uh, wheel plate bottom uh, and the base plate bottom surface from here we will change uh, the reps dimension and uh, from this step we will change the whole data and from here we can change the number uh, of supports like that we will change the dimension i to 30 like that if we change the type of uh, this support to type 2 the top plate will be activated like that and we can change the dimensions of the top plate according to this drawing if we select type 3 the top and bottom uh, plates will be deactivated and we will have top and bottom rings like that Thank you for your time.